Hey there, if you have a home loan in India, I bet you would like to know some ways to save more money on your monthly repayments or maybe shorten your loan tenure. Well, there's a perfect way to do that. Home Loan Refinancing In today's video, we'll know what is loan refinancing and when you should consider it. So, let's begin. What is Home Loan Refinancing? Home Loan Refinancing is just like hitting a refresh button to your home loan. It involves transferring your existing home loan balance to a new lender or maybe renegotiating the terms and conditions of the home loan with your current lender. It can help you save money on interest payments, reduce your monthly EAYs, and shorten your loan tenure. Okay, now you must be wondering then when you should consider refinancing your home loan. Well, there are few different scenarios when it will be worth considering. Let's see. Number 1. When you have ample time left on your loan. Refinancing early, that means probably the first half of your loan tenure will be the best time to consider it. Number 2. When you are getting a lower rate of interest. The biggest chunk of home loan is interest. Any loan cheaper by 50 basis points or more could lead to a shorter loan tenure and reduced EIs. If you get a lower rate of interest as compared to the rate when you took the home loan, refinancing is your best option. Number 3. When the cost justifies it. Refinancing generally costs 1-2% of the loan outstanding balance. If the projected savings exceeds the cost, you should consider refinancing. Number 4. When your income has increased. If your income has increased since the time you took the home loan, refinancing might be able to help you reduce the home loan tenure and save your interest payments. Number 5. When you need a new benchmark. Home loans linked to benchmarks like MCLR and prime rating rate may be costlier than the home loans linked to repo rates. Do consider refinancing the loan with the rate linked to repo rate. It will be beneficial for it. Now, let's understand how can you refinance your loan. Step number 1. Assess your loan. If your loan is competitively priced, you don't need to refinance. Let's call the interest rate here as A. Step number 2. Check with your lender. If your lender is offering a lower rate of interest, ask them to move to that lower rate by paying the processing fees. Step 3. Calculate savings from step 2. Here the savings will be interest saved minus cost of refinancing. Let's call this amount as B. Step 4. Get the lowest rate in the market. If your lender does not offer a competitive rate of interest, do approach another lenders and get the lowest rate as possible and then calculate the cost of refinancing. Here, calculate the savings again and mark it as C. Step number 5. Choose the best option. Compare the amount A, B and C and choose the options that offers the maximum benefit. Now, let's understand how refinancing your home loan can help you save a lot of money with the help of an example. Say, you took a home loan of Rs 50 lakh at an interest rate of 10% in April 2011. In that case, your monthly EMIs would be 48,251 rupees and the total interest that needs to be paid in 20 years span will be around 65.8 lakh. Now, as of May 23, your loan outstanding balance is around 32.65 lakhs and the remaining interest would be around 15.6 lakhs. Now, there are two options to consider. Number 1. If you decide to refinance your loan, from the existing lender at a lower rate of interest of 9% for the remaining 96 months by paying a processing fees of Rs 5000. Your monthly EMI will come down to Rs 47,834 and your net savings in that case will be 2.33 lakhs. Number 2. If you decide to refinance your home loan with a different lender who is offering you 9% rate of interest but is charging you 1% of the loan as processing fees, in that case, your monthly EMI will come down to 47,834. But your net savings will also come down to only Rs 2 lakhs. So there you have it. Home loan refinancing is an option worth considering when you want to save some money on monthly repayments and shorten your loan tenure. Just remember to compare offers from different lenders and choose the option that best suits your needs. That's all for today's video. We really hope that this information was helpful to you. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such informational videos on personal finance. Thank you so much for watching.